All right, everyone, I'm very excited for this. The Scream 6 trailer just dropped. Not the teaser, the actual trailer. So let's check it out. All right, just finished watching it. So there's a lot to unpack. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the actual setting, New York City. New York City, baby. They changed up the setting and I am so on board for that. This series, this franchise has been around for 20 plus years. It is about time that we moved on and we are in a new place. Next up, we have to talk about that store scene at the beginning. You see the two sisters, Tara and Sam, running through, back from the fifth movie, running through, and Ghostface just walks in. He doesn't even care. He is, it does not matter who's in the way, stabs the dude, you see the people running away from him, um, running out the door in the back. So cool. This is way different than what we've gotten in the past, right? We've All the other Ghostface in all other five movies, it's always been like a stalker, right? He's always in the shadows. He always attacks these people when they're most vulnerable, when they're alone, this and that, when it's like more of a one-on-one -on -one type thing. This one, he just walks in. He was chasing them. He didn't care where they were hiding. He just walks in and gets them. Super cool, super cool. And then the money shot with the shotgun. How cool was that, right? It's so different. It's so out of character. It's so out of character for a ghost face to be doing this, which once again just hypes up the excitement for this movie. Also, with the mask, how it's super decayed. Um, it's not this nice, pristine mask that we get in every single movie. So that makes me think that this is either a killer that somehow survived one of the past movies, or maybe it's someone that's obsessed with with the killer or maybe it's like you know someone's son or daughter or whoever i don't know but the fact of the matter is is that this is a mask that has been used by a previous killer which is also super cool because how is that going to tie into the story we get kirby back after scream 4 kirby is back hayden penitary and i'm gonna be real with you i had no idea she was in this movie so that was a nice surprise for me uh liked her character in the fourth one great actress let's bring her back great idea. Um, the fact that she's in New York with all these kids, a little too convenient, but I'll take it. I will take it. Can we talk about that museum or whatever you want to call it of all the different items that are from the past movies? So this kind of plays into the, my theory of this is one person or a group of people that are basically obsessed with the screen killings, the screen killer killings of the last five movies, right? They have all these different items that have been used that were a part of the killings. And then up on the stage, we have the whole gallery of all of their outfits. Like, I, I think, personally, I guess we'll wait till March to see, but I think that it's a semi-cult type thing, right? A group of people that are obsessed with the killers, all the killings that have happened, and now they are, they're on their own journey to try to kill these groups, these group of survivors are basically trying to finish off what the past um, Ghostface tried to do. Ghostface tells Gail Weathers, Courtney Cox, that th that she's never faced someone like this one, right? This Ghostface. And I see it throughout the trailer, back in the convenience store, he's just zoned in on who he's trying to kill, or she, who knows. But whoever Ghostface is trying to kill, he is zoned in on them. It's like an unstoppable force in a sense of, you know, he, he did not matter how many people were around, he was going to get to him. Same thing with Gail. He says that to her, he throws the person across the room, makes a great entrance, and I think that's super exciting and super different. So while the trailer made me super excited for the movie, I was already excited, but the trailer, you know, that helped. I can't help but miss Sydney Prescott, right? She's the girl that's been there from the beginning, she's not in the movie, and it all came down to the money, whether they were offering her too little or if she was asking for too much i don't know but what i do know is that she's not in the movie and at first i was a little kind of off put by that but based off of the trailer based off of the cast i think we're going to be okay the cast helped carry the new cast helped carry the the screen five the one that came before this and you know they have jenna ortega on there everyone knows jenna ortega she she's the, one of the biggest stars right now in hollywood and i just think that scream the franchise itself is in a good place. So I can't wait to see this movie. Comes out in March, and when it does, you know I'll be there opening weekend to see the movie, give you my thoughts, give you the review. But until then, my friends, see you later.